Pixels per foot is determined by two things, the width of the field of view and the resolution of the camera used. So we have a camera on a map right now, and this is 100 foot wide at this target. So they're saying we want to capture a car, a person, et cetera, right at this 100 foot, 100 foot width uh, for this camera over here. Now, we've got a 1080p camera, and that's 1920 by 1080. When we do pixels per foot, we only are concerned about the horizontal element, so 1920. So notice you have 1920 and a width of 100, 1920 divided by 100 is 19.2. So we could change our resolution. For instance, we'll go to 5 megapixel, and that's 2592. At a width of 100, we should be looking at something like 25.9. And there you go, 25.9. So we went from 19.2 to 25.9 by going from 1080p to 5 megapixel. You can uh, continue to go up. For instance, you can go to 4K at 100 foot wide, and now you're going to have 38 port. Four, right again we're keeping the width constant and we're increasing the resolution now I want to point out that this is not perfect because there can be issues with compression or lens in lens quality etc uh, so keep that in mind especially as you go up higher and higher that risk increases when you go to higher resolutions just as an issue right now in terms of the state of technology of the surrounding elements of systems um, so be careful about that so let's go back to our 1080p camera. So our 1080p, which is 1920 wide, 100 foot wide. And so let's say now you say, you know what? I really need to have 40 pixels per foot or more. So let's try to drop it down from 100 foot wide to 50 foot wide. Now you'll see at 50 foot wide, we dropped it in half, which means keeping the resolution the same, we doubled our pixels per foot. But we're still not at um, 40 pixels per foot. I'll zoom in a little bit more just to show you a little bit in more detail. So now let's go to 40 foot wide. Okay, so now we're at 40 foot wide. Now we're getting 48 pixels per foot and you could keep on going down on this. You'll notice that like we now 30 foot wide 1080p, we're at 64 pixels per foot. But notice how much the coverage area has shrunk. And there's another issue going on here is that we kept, we've kept the angle of view at 80 degrees this entire time. But if you keep the angle of view the same, what you'll notice is, is that the PAMR basically gets shorter and shorter range. The other thing that you can potentially do, we'll go out further again, let's actually go out to a width of 100. So we have a width of 100, but the problem that we have here is the width of 100, still 1080p, 19.2 pixels per foot. One other thing that we could do, let's say we had to see 60 foot away from the camera, right? The camera has to be mounted here because that's the only spot that there's a pole. We could then narrow the angle of view, keeping the distance the same, but narrowing the width. So here our width is now 59.83. We're still not at 50 pixels per foot, so we're going to we're gonna have to zoom it in tighter. 42.8 pixels per foot. Now we're at just over 50 pixels per foot. But notice what we had to do is we originally had an angle of view of 80 degrees. We still needed to get that 60 foot distance. So we had to narrow the angle of view down to 35. So, so those are some of the key trade-offs. We encourage you to use the IPVM camera calculator to better understand these issues when using pixels per foot. Thank you.